Hi guys, Alan Moore here and another fragrance for video back again this weekend. Okay, thanks for tuning back in, I appreciate that. I hope you guys are alright out there. I hope things are going well in your lives. Um, on today's video guys, we're going to do a request from a subscriber I had last week. This guy's a good friend and he's one of the subscribers, when he believes a comment, he, he'd been, last three weeks, he'd been leaving like a bit of a challenge really for us to try and come up with an idea from, from fragrances that he suggested. And this was a suggestion from Paul. And so he was saying that, can you give me some fragrances that you could use on a seafront holiday when it's cold? So it'll still, all the fragrances will still cut through the cold. So that's what this video is about, guys. It's a re subscriber's request. Tune back in after the intro and I'll show you what I've got. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys. Now I've got some here today. So I've got six or well, five on the actual thumbnail and I've got like an honourable mention for you. So basically the six I'm going to show you is the ones that was on the list. And then I'll put an alternative in the end at the end uh, just to show you something different. Okay, so then here we go. This is the first one I'm going to show you and this is one of the, the bottles I've been in my collection for a while now. It's one of the longest uh, bottles I've had. It was a big 200ml bottle when I bought it. And when I first sniffed this fragrance, I fell in love with it. It was really nice fragrance. It's got a bit of class about it, you know, sophistication. But at the same time, it projects as though, you know, I could describe it, the best way I could describe this. Imagine you've got a bit of money and you've found yourself on all these nice white yachts with the sails on. Right, aim in the middle of a blue ocean, some sailing along, you can get the sea air, the breeze, yeah. This is what that's like in a box, but it's got like a wood woodiness with it as well. You know, so this is what we're gonna show you for today, is this one here. It's Aramis Adventurer. Now you can see it's a big bottle, look, I've had that for ages, and it still smells great today. It's a... Uh, same style bottles, the old Alibis bottles, the old classic bottles. But you've got to smell this, it's in my room now, guys, and it's just taking out of the room. I mean, this is why I put it on, because it's got such a punch to it. I honestly think this could cut through with the cold air, like that. Do you know what I mean? And I honestly believe that if you put this on, you'll smell something special you've got on. You'll keep getting wafts of it if it's coming around. And I do honestly believe it's underrated. Not many people talk about it on YouTube, but it's been in my collection for ages now. And because it's got this like seafaring aquatic vibe to it, although it's not listed like that. I mean, I went on, um, before I came on here to do this video, I went on to uh, Fred Rantica and I was trying to come up with a, you know, the note for the fragrances on this video today and so I, I, at first I couldn't work out you know um, which one it was going to be to put on like this is aquatic fragrance when Paul said with the, I looked all through the aquatic fragrance thinking it'd be by the sea and stuff like that and it wasn't the case it was something I had to look at there I thought well why can't give Paul something that I think stands out and it's different from the, the rest of the ones I've been putting out or videos that I have seen in the past. So that's one that was that's why that's one there for guys. I hope you haven't seen this one, Paul. It's a cracky fragrance, it smells beautiful, mate. So then this goes to our second pick what we got now. And you have heard me say about this one. And it's this one here. It's Aramis Oas. Not Aramis. Bloody hell, I'm supposed to be talking about that. Uh, this is uh Rasasi Oas and there's the spray look. It's got a nice top, but mind off is on normal. It's uh, not got the thing to stick in there, but the juice inside is fantastic, guys. Let's show that to my job. And this one, I've always said that this is based on Packer Man 2 Invictus 2016, the aqua one. But 
I was watching a video the other day, this big guy, I don't know, he, he, no, I didn't see him on there, watch it. And he was saying that this uh, came out before the Paco Rabanne. I didn't know that, to be honest. So let me just say, for the sake of the video, it smells something like um, Paco Rabanne Invictus 2016. Although that came out first. He's got a beautiful aquatic uh, feel to it when you smell it. It's got, it reminds me of a nice aquatic fragrance. And it's got staying power, it will last, it's got projection, it's got everything you want in a bottle. And even in these like cooler months now, you're approaching autumn and winter, you know, um, you're still in, you're, well, you're more or less through autumn nearly now. Uh, but you, all this time I've been wearing this and that, like, it still cuts through the cold. And even when you get into winter, it'll cut through that as well. It's that strong, it'll still project. You can do with this, this scent all year round, guys. It's that good. Um, so that's my second choice, uh, is this one. Uh, Rasasi Awas. That's the second one, guys. Now then, now I, when I was looking on, um, not you now, ages ago, I was trying to find sort of, you can check one video, I don't even all different fragrance categories on YouTube. Please check it out and leave a comment and subscribe. This one is classed as a, a woody aromatic, uh, aquatic. I didn't know it was an aquatic sense. And this is on Crane of our sport, Boiler Lake. It's got like a nice blue, you know, juice in there, look. You know, a bit darker than the Adamis one. It's, it's got a beautiful colour juice. And this one. I wouldn't, if it assessed to me before this video, well, well I started sharing this video, and I didn't know about this fragrance, that this was classed as an aquatic, I'd never have thought it. I'd have thought this had got lots, it's, out, it's, got, it's got uh, vetiver, and it's got two lots of vetiver, got verba vetiver, and it's got like Asian vetiver in there, and you can tell that's in the base of this um, fragrance. It's got uh, lots of vetiver, uh, lavender is in there. And at the top, you've got grapefruit, bergamot, and nutmeg. In the mid, you've got cypress, and then you've got watery notes. And then you've got lavender. And there you say you can smell the lavender in there, guys, and the vetiver. It's got cashmere at the bottom now. Cashmere is not expensive. You're buying cashmere jumpers and different stuff like this. It's always classed as being expensive. You can imagine that's an expensive ingredient. Wood, uh, cake, it's, this is cashmere wood. And then you've got musk. Do you know what I mean? So all these are in the base and you can smell it as it starts drying down. I would say the best part about this fragrance actually is the dry down to the base. And if it's nice that you can top your first spray on, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad fragrance. I love it. You can dress that up and go out somewhere nice with that fragrance, guys. It is that good. And uh, moving on now with my, my fourth pick. I'll give all the notes in a minute, guys. I'm just going to get through the video for the sake of not keeping you too long. And I'll get run through the notes for each fragrance quickly before I finish. So here's the Davidoff Cool Water Intense. This came in out in 2019, this thing, guys. And it's, yeah, it's got a, a yes, strong note in here. There's, there's really something pungent in here that sticks out when you smell it. It is quite potent. And it reminds me of... Uh, uh, it was this easy Miyaki fragrance I had, and it was the same notes in there that was in this easy Miyaki one, and it kind of put me off. But I think what's with it now with this one is the cow could have vibe to it, you get with it, and it's more tolerable to me. Uh, but there's something in there that's quite pungent. But I've been looking at the notes on uh, fragrance again, guys. There's not that many notes for this fragrance, but the, you can smell definitely smell the uh, the cow in there. It's actually got, um, where is it? Uh, coconut and nectar. So, uh, is that the thing that I could smell, or is that mixing with the amber? And the ambers give you that pungent note. It could be. Uh, green mandarin, no. It doesn't smell like a, a fruity accord to me. Like, or, the, or there's like a lighty more, or something like that. Now I can't smell a citrusy opening to it, but I can smell definitely the, the coconut we you, you spray it on. And you can get this pungent note with it. And I think it's the coconut nectar and the amber mixing together that gives you that 
It only last ages, don't get me wrong with this bottle. It lasts you ages. You know, it's uh, got a nice projection about it. You'll smell it for quite a while that you've got it on. And it has got a nice coconut vibe without being too like shower shampoo kind of coconut. But it's done in a nice way. So I do like that fragrance as well. And now I'm going to move on now to the last pick. Is it this one here? Something a bit more unusual for my videos. Is this one here? The leak uh, pour on the lion version. It's got a lovely engraved bottle of the lion's head in there, guys. And this is a classic scent, but it's got a classic scent with attitude. This will smack you around the face and wake you up when you put this on. It's, you've got a pungent note to it again. Uh, and when I first smelt this, when I first started wearing it, I didn't like it. It was, to be honest with you, when I first liked it. And uh, I bought it and I thought, well, I've a lot of people have bought this. So I've bought it with the anticipation of liking it. I sprayed it on. I thought, hang on. There's, there's something here that does smell quite right. I'm asking. And I, the only way I can t is to explain it, it smelled like latex gloves on my hand. Like a, a, a rubbery smell. But the more I wore it and the more I've gone down the bottom, the more the same profile has changed a little bit. Now, I, I don't get the latex smell so much. No, it's not there now. There's lots of different notes in there now, guys. And it's all mixed in together. Amalgamated in, it's all fighting for, you know, supremacy years leading to get out there first that you can smell. And it, it, it is such a nice fragrance when you just settle down. I've put this on a few times to work. And I've been walking around the work. And all of a sudden, you'll get a waft of it come past your house, like, you know. So it's got a staying power. I'm not saying it will fill a room up or anything like that, but it has got a staying power for you in a certain radius of yourself. If people come past you when you first spray this on, they will notice it after a while. And I think if you was on the seafront uh, on an holiday and you sprayed this on, you know, you could always carry it in your pocket if you wanted to refresh it at some stage. But the time you was wearing it, it would, you know, give you a little close tent bubble to where you are yourself. People clap past it close by. We'll pick this scent up, you know. So this is office choice, is the Lily Pour on. And then moving on with this one now, is the bonus fragrance I said I'd throw in out. And it's this one here for the cold weather. On the seafront, and this is Rosassi Laruquan. This is a Tom Ford clown of Tuscan leather. It's got a lovely raspberry note up top. Mixing with all the leather notes and the different ingredients for this as well, guys. And it gives you this like leather, it, it, like a really pungent leather smell. And it's got this raspberry note that it stays with your first spray on, but unfortunately it doesn't last that long. The raspberry note, you just, there when you spray spray it on, you know. And by the time you had time to blink, you take your, 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 your trouble picking it up after that. But... The actual leather fragrance stays around for ages. You don't need too many sprays of this night to keep it there. You, you put it in this radius where you're going to keep getting washed through the time. And it's uh, about £70 maybe, a bit more now in the UK. This was about £70 when I bought it. It's only like a 75 mil look, guys. So it's not the biggest bottle. But it, it's like, I don't want to say, it was, I don't know whether it's glass or not, you know, either because it seems a bit light. For the glass side, because I don't know it's got some kind of a porcelain bottle. Uh, but it's, it's very nice and it, it, it does, you know, fit into that profile, a nice leather fragrance that's got some pungency about it. You know, you're walking on the seafront, people will pick that up. And I thought that's why I put that bonus one in there for you. So there are more picks for this video. So I hope uh, uh, Paul out there who's been watching the video and showing me fantastic encouragement and thank you Paul for your support, it means the world guys. Uh, so, let me just read some of these notes off here for this uh, particular video. Who are the Animus Adventurer? In the top you've got lemon, pepper and bergamot. In the middle you've got wormwood, lavender, geranium. In the base guys you've got seaweed, cedar and patchouli. That was this one here, the old Alibis, you know, the adventure one, that was a good pick to start off with. And then you've got the Kill Water, I'll show you that one next because that's what's on my paper next. Is that one there, look, guys? 
and that one's the top green mandarin in the mid coconut nectar and in the base amber and it was released in 2019 that was the other miss was 2014 right then we're moving along now nicely now they pour on the lily pour on the one the lion's head right that was released in 1997 and it's classed as a woody aromatic. A lot of these are look woody, like a woody feel. The categories of you guys. That's why I've got them in the video. They're fantastic this time of year in the winter. Uh, the top you've got lavender, rosemary, grapefruit, bergamot, pomelo. And you've got mandarin, orange, and tangerine. In the mid, you've got cedar, uh, iris, lily of the valley, and jasmine. In the base, you've got oak moss, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and amber. And that is a nice classic fragrance. So if you want something different, guys, to what the norm is. And I do like that. So there's some, another choice where I've got in my collection. You know, so I'm moving on with this one now. Is obviously this one, the OAS. Beautiful fragrance. I love this fragrance. I bought this one, one of these bottles and he actually loved this fragrance. Never had it before. He, I actually tried it on and he loved it after he'd used it. Um, this was released in 2015. So, this is the top. You've got apple, bergamot, cinnamon, lemon. In the mid, you've got water notes, plum, orange, blossom, cardamom. In the base, you've got ambergris, musk, driftwood, and you've got patchouli. And I say, if you never smelt that, guys, and you want to try something fresh and it'll be different from all the heavy fragrances this time of year, that's another good, you know, alternative. Not everybody likes to wear all these dark fragrances and heavy fragrances, you know. Depends on the individual. And this one's no one to be looked at, no other like guys. This is another fantastic fragrance. If you've never tried it, it's got a lovely smell about it. And something makes you feel like you could have a nice sports jacket on with that and you could pull it off easy. And that's the La Ligue on Cray Noir Sport. Another good fragrance for this time of year. Something different as well. You know, it's not these run-of-the-mill kind of thing that you see on YouTube all the while. The out of my collection, I looked at that for this video and I thought, that's got to be in there. And of course, this one at the end, was a little quote. And then this one is a beast. You know, it will project, it will last. And in the top, you've got raspberry, saffron and thyme. And in the middle, you've got olibanum, jasmine, artemisia. And in the base, you've got leather, suede. Woody out Amber, so you can tell where the pungent is coming from that, guys. But that's all from me. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate that. You know, I hope I'm winning your know, but gradually with my content. I'm doing my best to bring videos to you every week to share my experience with the fragrances that I've bought, hopefully, to give you some good information. Okay, then, guys, see you on the next video, right? I'll have another video coming out tomorrow, so please check that one out. Can you please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, you know, hit the, leave a comment, all that jazz. If you do that for me, that would be fantastic. Have a good weekend, guys. All the best. Bye now.